What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video. I really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel and want more videos on silver stacking, gold stacking, and anything precious metal related, make sure you subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell down on the right hand side so you know when I post new videos. So lately, um, I've been seeing a lot of this floating around. I've been seeing a lot of newer stackers going into live streams of other channels, as well as mine, and asking how they should spend their first $1,000, their first $1,500, their first $2,000 on gold and silver. And this is not a new question that is all of a sudden starting to form. This is an old question, but this video would have been very, very different a year ago. And I can understand why it's confusing where to put a thousand dollars. You want to get to get into gold and silver, but where do you put this thousand? Do you put it all in silver? Do you put it all in gold? Do you put it half and half? Do you buy a big piece? Do you buy a small piece, a bunch of small pieces? How do you strategize your first thousand dollars? So like I said, this video a year ago would have been very different. So how do you do it? So the reason why it's important, you need to really think about this. When you're spending $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, whatever your initial investment is, there's two things that are very, very important. And that is, what is everybody buying? And what can people afford? Those are two very important questions you need to have. So you want popularity and you want it to be within a big range of people that can afford it. Now, the, the mentality I wanna give you on this, uh, I'm gonna explain a little story and then I'll get into this a little bit more. The other day I had a subscriber come into one of my live streams and ask me about a two ounce gold coin that he was gonna buy for over $6,000. This is one piece, two ounces of gold. When you do the math, that is essentially double the value of the gold weight. So that is a huge premium. So those of you that don't know what a premium is, it is basically the access money that you are paying on top of the value of the silver or the gold. So if silver is $17 and you're paying 20, that means there's a $3 premium. So essentially this two ounce gold coin is double the value of the gold. Why is that important? And this is really important. I know it, I'm not going astray here, but you need to really grasp what I'm saying. It's important because how many people that buy gold and silver, which is already a pretty small community, believe it or not, there's really not that many that do this, right? Can afford to buy a six thousand dollar piece this is one piece for six thousand dollars when you see guys spreading out tons of silver tons of gold that is let's just say six thousand dollars of accumulation or ten thousand dollars of accumulation for example i have about twelve thousand dollars worth of gold that is an accumulation over the years i can't afford to buy a six thousand dollar piece right now and I'm with a lot of you guys. A lot of us can't afford to buy that. And that's not going to change. So you need too many things to line up in order to sell that piece down the road. You need a collector with big money and $6,000 worth of dispensable income or dispensable investment, however you want to put it, in order to buy that one piece. And then they got to be interested in the piece itself. So you literally have a 1% possibility of finding <laughs> a buyer that will be able to buy that coin, literally, because you're gonna need to sell that privately. You go to dealers, they are not gonna give you that full premium, guaranteed. They need to make money and they will definitely eat up some of that premium when they go to buy it from you. Uh, coin shop, same deal. Most of them don't give you any premium back. They will buy for melt, most of them. And even if you did get some of the premium, you are definitely not getting all of it. Pawn shops, forget it. So where does that leave you? That leaves you to sell privately. It's gonna take a very, 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 very long time to find a buyer that has $6,000 cash in hand 
that is going to be interested in that one two ounce gold coin. That's six thousand dollars. If it's a smart gold or silver stacker, can buy a lot of gold and a lot of silver rather than just two ounces of gold. So that is the mentality you need to have when you are buying this stuff. Another example, if you had about $2,000 ready to go into silver, I see a lot of guys saying, I'm gonna buy a 100 ounce bar. That could be a mistake because once again, you are limiting the amount of buyers. Most guys that have $1,700 or $1,800 or $1,900 um, ready to go into gold or silver, their first thought is going to be one ounce gold, okay? Because uh, it's very difficult for the normal person, the normal gold and silver stacker to save up even $2,000 to be able to buy this. And most people that want to get into gold um, are going to lean more towards the gold, the one ounce gold, than the 100 ounce silver bar. Now, this is something I've learned uh, this is something I've seen over the years. I just, I noticed this. Um, not, I'm not saying that you can't sell that 100 ounce bar, but once again, you are directly competing with a one ounce piece of gold if you are buying a 100 ounce bar. And that goes down the list. If you are buying a 10 ounce piece of silver, you are competing with a 1 tenth ounce piece of gold. And in that competition, they are about even, believe it or not. Uh, these are both affordable pieces of metal, and there's a lot of buyers for both of these. These fractionals are an excellent way to get into gold and an excellent way to kind of get into gold and slowly save up in order to get a full one ounce. Uh, you could actually trade up. You could sell all those fractionals and trade up into a full ounce of gold, which is something I've done. So uh, that's good. Then you got these one ounce bars. A year ago, these were great. They were close to spot. They um, are great for new stackers especially because they have a security feature on the back. So I always recommended these, but now it's changed. These are going for about $26. All of a sudden they have a crazy premium. So I would suggest right now the best buy is these right here. If you are gonna spend a thousand dollars, a bulk of it should be in, oh, not these, these right here. It should be on the maples. This is the 2020 winner for silver stacking, in my opinion. Um, these are going for about $22. They've gone to, on sale for about 21. I've seen them close to 20. These are government backed silver. They're 4.9 silver, which, you know, it's not a big deal, but at the same time, it is. These are highly recognizable. They are easy to sell because there's always a market for maples. And especially this year, this is probably the coins to stack. If you are going strictly for weight, I highly suggest buying the 2020 maples, as many as you can. If you want to get your feet wet in gold, one tenth ounce. You could buy a quarter ounce for about $500. Once again, I would stick with maples. I would stick with uh, the gold eagles. Those are good. And uh, something to avoid for silver as of right now are the 2020 eagles. Avoid them. The premium is too high on them, on my, in my opinion. Wait it out. Um, one of the dealers had a, a sale. The, the eagles actually dipped in price, and that was a good time to buy. And that'll keep happening. If you're patient enough, you can get those eagles cheaper. Uh, if this video was done a year ago, so if you're watching older videos on YouTube on telling people, uh, new stackers, what to buy, Constitutional Silver was a great buy. Now, it carries a heavy premium. It is in demand. And uh, for that reason, the premium is very high, and I am a pass on Constitutional Silver as of right now. And I'm actually a pass on these, and I love these. So your first $1,000 should be as follows, guys. If you are spending more, you should definitely diversify. You should buy some silver. You should buy some gold. I would suggest buying some fractional. Um, the smallest fractional I would do is one-tenth ounce. 
and probably the biggest would be maybe a half ounce but I personally would probably go with the quarter ounce as being the biggest that's going to take about $500 worth of your investment but you can literally be 50 50 involved in silver and gold if you have a thousand dollars you spend 500 on gold buying a quarter ounce and you could spend the rest on I like 10 ounce bars now these Geigers are semi collectible they they have a premium believe it or not that's why I still have it I actually sold all my 10 ounce bars but these sunshine mint bars if you are patient you look around you can buy them for around 215 210 if you're lucky 10 ounce bars are great if you want to get in the $20 range you can buy these maples I don't suggest buying uh, generics but if you literally want the cheapest silver possible to get the most silver possible you can buy um, the acai, acai rounds that are cheap they're generics you can buy buffalo rounds are generics they're about twenty dollars a, a pop if you want to stay around there right now the going price even though the silver spot price is about eighteen dollars and change last time i checked it's about twenty dollars an ounce if you can find silver at around twenty dollars an ounce that's a good buy um i suggest it if it's a couple cents more to buy government backed silver like these maples um or britannia's krugerins um what else the philharmonic those are all government backed and they are actually pretty cheap around that 20 dollars range um it's almost even worth it to spend the extra dollar if they're 21 dollars, i would go with the government back over the generic all day there's some people that don't buy generic at all everybody buys government backed so uh, once again that comes back to you you're not only thinking about your own goals you're also thinking about what people are buying what's popular in the silver stacking community what can be easily moved down the road so if you want to move your investment you want to sell a roll of maples to get into gold so i'm going to sell these and jump into gold um you want to make sure you have the most liquid bullion that is on the market people want so you don't want to get those strange pieces of silver um, when you're doing an initial investment eventually i am all for buying really cool pieces of silver collectible pieces of silver you should do that this is as much of a hobby as it is an investment as it is a hedge as it is as all the other terms for gold and silver stacking it's also a hobby it's a healthy hobby and you should enjoy it at the end of the day those collector pieces are still silver the hand poured silver the uh you know the silver in the weird shapes that's all part of the hobby and that's actually what makes silver stacking fun so um but for an initial investment i wouldn't mess with that i would get right into the nitty gritty and buy some maples some eagles if they're cheap the 2020 eagles i'd avoid right now constitutional silver quarters dimes all that stuff avoid it um, unless you can find it cheap and make sure you do your math when it comes to this stuff and you are shopping uh, with face value for an example this is ten dollars face of Je um, Kennedy halves right so you do one dollar forty divided by ten dollars and that's going to give you seven point one four troy ounces of silver so this is seven ounces, 7.14 ounces of silver. And do your math according to how much you're selling it and you'll see how much exactly you're paying per ounce. That needs to be in the $20 range in order to compete with maples and the cheapest silver that's around. So if you see 23, 24, 25, 26, um, skip on the constitutional. And as far as fractionals, if you can get into the 190s, it's a good buy. One tenth ounce, anywhere in the 190s is a good buy. 200 is starting to push it a little bit, but that is kind of the going rate in the 200s. Um, even 215 has been uh, a regular price. But if you are patient, once again, you don't need to hurry up and get in this. That's another mistake a lot of the new stackers make. Um, if you could find it around 200, 190 is the preferred that's usually when i pull the trigger around 190 then uh that's a good buy so around 215 is a normal price if you do pay that just know that if you are patient you might be able to find it uh a little bit lower in the 200s 10 ounce bars 
same deal, uh, around 215 is the price. You do the math, that's about $21.50. Um, if you can find any at the low 200s, remember these are basically competing with each other. So um, same deal. If you can find these in the low 200s, great. If you can find them at 190s, even better, but um, that has been very few and far in between um, as of late. One ounce bars, you're gonna pay more. So um, right now, like I said, avoid the one ounce bars too, actually, and uh, stick with the standard Boolean, recognizable Boolean, one ounce coins is the way to go as of right now. And then down the road, I always suggest buying some semi-numismatics in order to flip. I have videos on that, I won't get into it now, but this right here, along with uh, the Royal Fortune, if you look into that series, has been the 2020 winner for um, semi-numismatics. These um, were probably the biggest flip of the year. And if you are able to flip coins, which takes a lot of practice and time and research, you could actually find another source of income in order to fund your gold and silver stack. And um, if you get familiar enough, some of that money should go into semi-numismatics in order to flip down the road. But I won't get into that, that is a whole nother topic. So anyways guys, this is a long video and I didn't really start getting into the nitty gritty towards the end, but I hope it helps. And um, so yeah, your first, just to highlight, your first initial investment, 1,000, 1,500 or uh, up to 2,000, if you are doing $2,000 and you wanna go more gold, take a stab at a one ounce piece and uh, the rest on silver. If you wanna do 50-50, then you could, uh, you could do a quarter ounce of gold and the rest on silver bars or these maples, Britannias, Philharmonic, uh, Krugerins, and maybe even those Buffalo rounds, Asahi rounds, those are all around the $20 mark. So the normal going prices for silver are about $20 an ounce right now. That is the norm. If you see silver on that price, it's a good buy. $21 for government backed is the norm and that's pretty good. If you're patient, you might be able to find it in the high 20s. So save a little bit. One tenth ounce in the 190s up to 215 is the norm. Uh, constitutional right now, uh, around $23 per ounce is kind of the going for it. I would pass on constitutional unless you can find it in the same range as these, 21, 22 dollars. This is very liquid, people do want it. There's a demand for it right now especially, so uh, yes. One ounce gold around 1800 bucks is great price. If you can get 1825, that's good. Up to 1890, I think would be the max. These buffaloes uh, this year especially have a little bit of a premium. So upwards up until 1890, it would be the very, very maximum, but anywhere in the 1800s, um, just like that would be a pretty good price. 10 ounce bars, um, they are going for about 200, 210, 215, all the way to 225. I would not pay 225 because there's better options like this. If you were to buy 10 of these, it would end up being about $210. So um, I would definitely avoid the 10 ounce bars unless you can find it in the 200s. So low 200s is good, 208, 209, 210 is pushing it already. Um, and that's what I would do with that. One ounce bars, avoid them. I haven't seen any good deals. And once again, going price is silver around 20. So use your judgment, but be careful with a lot of the art bars and a lot of the generic bars. They are very highly counterfeit. So make sure you're buying from um, reputable dealers or if you see these for a good price, shoot me an email because I'll buy them too. And uh, these have the security feature that nobody will be able to fake. You just need the card to read that, which I have another video on that as well. All right, guys, I hope this helps. And, um, you know, I just wanted to sum it up one last time for those of you that are new. But yeah, make sure you are buying stuff that people want. The premiums, uh, avoid them, especially right now. I would avoid as much of the premium as possible um, because we really don't know if gold and silver are gonna come down. We don't know if it's gonna go up, but you wanna get government backed. You can't go wrong with these maples, especially at the price that they are right now. Can't go wrong. Um, and 
I really suggest not putting your whole entire investment, initial investment, into uh, one big piece. You know, the, the more expensive that piece is, uh, the less buyers you're gonna have. You know, that's pretty much the way you need to look at it. 10 ounce bar, for me, what I've noticed over the years of stacking is the perfect size. If you want some heft, you want to, um, you know, not have a million of these rounds, 10 ounce bar is good. These sell, it's in the good price point where most people can afford and um, they move. So 10 ounce is the biggest I will go with silver. And that's just my opinion, but it, it, it's worked for me over the years. So, all right guys, let me know what you think and make sure to leave a comment, like the video, and thank you so much for watching this long video. I really, really hope it helps. Let me know if it did down in the description, or I'm sorry, the comments, and I will talk to you guys later.